This Let's Play was brought to you by a gluttonous pink puffball with a bottomless pit for a stomach. Yeah, that's... I don't think that made sense either. <laughs> anyway, yeah. A little story behind this, actually. I was gonna do some Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, but that didn't exactly pan out all that well. Yeah, it's take one, take two, take five. Yeah, we had a mountain of failures, and I was like, fuck it. Yeah, so now here we're alive <coughs> with Kirby 64. And one thing I really like about this is its ability to tell a cohesive story without the needed dialogue. Just right there. Okay, so we're playing the Japanese version. You see Dark the Japanese there. <laughs> Dark Matter her was invading. Dark Matter is invading Ripple Star in order to steal the crystal. And our fa and the fairy there took the crystal and fled. All right, and the Japanese here stands for <laughs> uh, please <laughs> save. <laughs> the world from <clears throat> dark taxes. You don't know Japanese, let's not pretend. No, no, no. I know perfect Japanese. Don't even I'm talk studying to me about that. I'm studying Japanese, dude. Oh yeah, what does it say then? <laughs> I'm still early on, but I'm practicing. Alright, so me, the expert on this subject, this j dialogue of Japanese says Please do not <coughs> fight the IRS. <clears throat> Mario. I know. I can, I can recognize some of the characters, at least. That being he, another being Toe, and I believe that last one is So. Alright, here's everyone's favorite pink puffball, Kirby. He's dead. And our fairy friend, Ribbon. That's actually her name, Ribbon. R really? What? <laughs> yeah, really. An article of clothing. Let's add that to someone's name. <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's make the king named Cape. <clears throat> oh, then I'm gonna smack my friends. stomach! Yeah, and then they started being friends for some reason. Well, it's only Kirby that can get back the crystal shards. <clears throat> or something like that. So you said you never played this game before, right? Okay, this seems familiar. This seems very familiar. Okay, so we have Kirby's main method of attack, which is sucking up enemies and eating them. Yeah, Kirby's basic ability of murder. <laughs> There's also... Copy abilities. Like, we got this right here, which is Needle. One of the least useful abilities out there. It's very short range as... Well, I mean, the, the ability to stab people seems very... hurtful, you know? True, but this this one is not exactly all that great. I mean, it... It's not a very effective, but it brings pain to your enemies really quick. It can be useful in some situations, but it's not overly... We'll see down. Really useful for making them feel pain. That's right. Combo abilities. What this expands the range of the needle. Is that a pencil? Oh yeah, that is a pencil. And a corkscrew. And some tweezers. And a fork. And a cactus. Yeah, no wonder they call Gerb Kirby the god of Nintendo like this. <laughs> Not to mention Kirby being the uh, Star Warrior, especially the animes to be believed. <coughs> also, that right there, that's one of the coastal shards we need. Yeah, I think I've deduced that masterfully from my expert ability in uh, video gaming. <coughs> I, I am gonna on purpose leave one behind. You understand why later? For now. Easy as ha easy as pie. You just you just like murdered somebody casually. How dare you? 
You just strolled into that man's home and then just like murdered him in cold blood. Well, to be fair, he's probably there to ambush us. Yeah, but because of dark matter's power, to the court. <laughs> All right, so we have the cannon there, Shotso. He's I, I consider him to be more of a hazard than an enemy. Can't exactly cut, you can't exactly kill him. Well, that's not an enemy then. That's just part of the land. I don't agree. Okay, so right there, that's gonna be the. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal it, but some parts like this, you'll need specific powers. This one is Vaughn. That's gonna be the crystal I leave behind intentionally. For now, anyway. So you can get that sweet 100% <clears throat> diamond run. <clears throat> I will go back for it later. Oh, look, our, our pal Waddle D. It's Waddle D from Smash Brothers. His origin is the Kirby games. Nah, his origin is Smash Brothers, definitely. Now, he's been around since Kirby won in the Game Boy. And Smash Brothers didn't come out to the 64. What? Well, now, Waddle D. Waddle Do! The only appearance of Waddle Do. In this entire game. Damn. That. I should tell so you. Goddamn cute. Unfortunately, Beam Kirby is not a thing in this game. Yeah, my favorite power is excluded. Damn. <coughs> oh, well, what can you do? To be a part of hell again. After we beat the crap out of Waddle Do, Waddle D joins us. We got Bizarro Waddle Do. This is the um, end game where we adjust Kirby's aim and pick up whatever we land on. We got to the star. <clears throat> That's not what I was going for, by the way. But hey, it's better than nothing. It's better than everything. You get 15 seconds of invincibility when you get that star. Uh, no. The stars you pick up go towards, um, pick getting a new life. Nah, I'm pretty sure what I said was correct, definitely. I'm saying I'll, the word definitely a lot. Oh, look. I'm not invincible. The invincibility is the, uh... Well, did you lollipop. try running into an enemy, buddy? I don't think so. The invincibility is a lollipop. Becoming Hyper Kirby. Yes, it is. I so I'm just gonna come at my way through this. Damn, you just got your, like, dash attack over here. Now, non-copy powered abilities, uh, enemies do have their uses, such as this guy right here. He's kind of your equivalent of, um, Power Cell Kirby. In this game. Is it useful? No. But it is there. I mean, if fall damage existed in this game, then it would be useful. Nah, it's entirely useless. Check this out. BOOM! Why duck? Dynamite. Because... Yeah, the dynamite actually hurts you unless you duck. Yeah, ducking is the important thing, not getting away from it. Well, to be fair, the um, hat does provide a shelter from the explosive. So, there's that. Yeah, imagine if hats did that in real life. You just, like, <clears throat> get shot in the chest, but then they're, they're for you have a hard hat. It's actually immune to bullets. Well, you have to be able to contort your entire body into that hat. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. You know what, Drew? That, that is a factor. Also, 
Behold, one of the most broken abilities in the game. Refrigerator. Damn, they did mouthfuls even after, even before the goddamn lost world. How is it broken? You can generate food on a dime. You won't need to pay for takeout ever again. Yeah, you have to be especially bad at the game to uh, die with this. It's just, it's that good. Is it good at fighting? Not particularly. But hey, as long as it can keep recovering itself over and over and over again on demand, who cares? Alright, so there's gonna be yet another crystal coming up. Jump down! Ah, oh, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, uh, maybe... Oh, okay, oh, I, I saved it. it. Don't worry, I believed in you the entire time. Kirby does have limited fly time. Yeah, I'm gonna refrain from using Smash Bros. references every time. <laughs> hey, you want to. something to eat, buddy? And death is okay, that was fast. Yeah! Refrigerated Kirby is really good. Oh my god, it's a wandering artist. <clears throat> it's the wandering artist, so her name is Isun. It's it's a, the Vagabond. Nah, her name is Andre. When you said uh, wandering artist, Isun came to mind. Oh god, evil artist. <clears throat> Wouldn't be the first time. And definitely not the last. Looking at you, Monorame. There's just something about the evil artist that makes good antagonists. Just draw everything. Also, our worst enemy. Censorship! What was- why, why was it censored? I don't know. It's just a bunch of pixels symbolizing censorship. At least that's my they interpretation. Drew they drew something so bad that they're gonna censor you. That's the attack. Or you dare speak wrong thing. <clears throat> oh god, I thought that was Among Us. No. I'm not gonna lie, I'm... <laughs> yeah, you're kinda what? Okay, before I got, I got, I got cut off from that, I'm kinda sick of seeing Among Us scenes. Yeah, I think we all are. But we got Miss Magical Paintbrush! We got the new friend now, yay. <clears throat> the magical paintbrush before the magical paintbrush was the magical paintbrush, if that makes any sense. But it was slightly before the magical paintbrush was the magical paintbrush. But not slightly after, because that would be the magical I paintbrush. Ah, uh, got the magic meta -mato. I swear, since uh, Kirby's epic yarn, I can't help but say meta -mato. I don't even know what it's called in any sort of game, so I'm just gonna call it the tomato. <clears throat> and every other Kirby game apart from, um... Kirby's Epic Yarn, it's actually the, uh, Maxim Tomato. I'm just gonna call it a tomato, because that's just what it is at the end of the day. It, it is. <clears throat> now, one thing I don't particularly care for about this is... You can hear me mashing, but I'm not placing down any bombs. And it's just... You just, like, I could just hear you strangling your controller. 
Yeah. In other in other Kirby games, you'd have this special move where you just spam bombs below you. Now this game. <coughs> All right, now we're in penetrating the fortress of King DDD. Oh, is that with this castle? Okay. Yes, this is DDD's castle. Now, in passing, I do plan on, sh on showing as many power combinations as possible. Here we have a classic cutter. Boomerang cutter. Yeah, the power is officially. Ah! Damn it! Yes, the power is officially damn it. That's what I wanted to say. No. The power is damn it. The power is officially cutter. I thought it was boomerang as well. I mean, it is basically boomerang, but yeah, it's the name is cutter. I was about to make a joke about that, but then I just realized no. Yeah, let's not make an emo joke here. <laughs> You're thinking it. Don't lie. I was thinking something else. I guess you could say the joke I was about to think up of was pretty edgy. Womp 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 womp. <clears throat> anyway, I picked up Double Cutter because... This block right here. There was a block right there. Hi. If you're full health, she'll paint you a one up. If not, she'll paint paint you a um, maximum tomato. Getting used to that. Counter to how long how long it takes before I'm well revert. But what I'm gonna do is combination needle cutter. <clears throat> Check this out. Jump. Oh damn! Just like ate everything above you. Yep, we're jumper. We jump. We're hungry! We need food! We chomp you down! We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours. <laughs> Somehow I knew you were gonna go there. Yeah, it's... The, wherever I go is ugly. It's always ugly. I can believe it. We climb up to the top. And we find His Majesty TDD himself. The penguin <clears throat> over here. <clears throat> need to find Batman. No, not. You need to pay up, buddy. He takes the crystal because he wants it. But it's targeted by dark matter. Because, of course. Damn, I can't believe he's been possessed <clears throat> for the 16th time. Alright, I, mean, I do kind of want to show Team DDD's attacks here. You can twirl like a ballerina. And he can attempt to suck you up. But he has a weird walk tackle when he does. And he just like, literally scoots towards you. And of course he has his trademark hammer. Okay, now this is kind of creepy actually. Yeah, he just like stands towards the air and starts like t posing towards you. Yes. When he comes at <laughs> comes at you, his stomach opens up. Just t poses with the stomach opening up. The stomach opening up, opening up is kind of creepy, but the t pose really does make it creepy. That is the creepiest King DDD has ever been. I know, right? I can't believe he would ever t pose. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Was like that. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Go to Kirby! I don't care! Uh, wait for me! He really wants the food. Damn it! 
Why can't I get what I'm... Why can't I get what I want there? You gotta get the sweet object permanence, man. And of course, surprise, surprise, first boss is must be white. Without a power, you're meant to... Well, eat the apple and use that as ammo. But I got a power. I got a sweet... I got sweet chompers. I don't need your apples. <clears throat> Damn, this is... Does that just last forever? If you can suck up two apples simultaneously, you will create a star bullet, in which case you can hit multiple words at one time for quite a bit of damage. Damn, you make this game seem pretty easy. I mean, in all honesty, it actually kind of is. I mean, if I was there, I think I'd die exactly 2.5 <clears throat> times at this point. You have died at least twice at this point? You're just that bad at video games? No, 2.5. Only. How can you die half the time? Well, you see, in order to talk about that, we need to talk about parallel universes. <laughs> Done it. We brought the axe to Wispy Woods! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> now, the English version of this would be Popstar. I never acknowledge the name of this world. I already forgot the name of this world. <laughs> 